Hello, my name is Debosha. I'm a co-founder of DSQ Technologies, makers of Geek Performer, and today I will show you how our new predictive loading feature works in Geek Performer. We are really excited about this feature. It allows you to load only the rack spaces that you immediately need in a song without having to load all the other ones that you don't immediately need. This saves a tremendous amount of memory and CPU usage. So uh, let's get started. Come on in. To start off, uh, I'll show you how to switch on this feature. It's already turned on in this case, but I'll show you where it is. It's in under Options and Advanced Settings. It's right here. It's predict called Predictive Loading. Maximum loaded rack spaces setting is the number of currently fully loaded rack spaces. They're in increments of two, so it's going to be three, five, seven, and so on. So you get the currently loaded rack space, and in this case, two rack spaces above the current one and two rack spaces below the current one. As you can see, uh, you will have these red bars and green bars on the sides of your rack space names. The green ones are fully loaded and uh, can be played instantly, like this. You can obviously jump to the green ones like you always did. If you press your foot controller, MIDI foot controller, or set an OSC message, you switch to jazz organ, for example, you can play it instantly. Cyber. I'll go back to jazz organ. When you switch these rack spaces, note how uh, I'll go to Danger now and note how Cyber, the first one, and probably the second one, are going to get unloaded. Geek Performer will load rack spaces 5 and 6 for FISA and Cello Ensemble while I'm playing the Dungeon. I'm playing the Dungeon now and look how it's already loaded. For FISA is ready, Cello Ensemble is ready. I can go back to Jazz Organ or Kingston K Organ instantly, or I can go to for FISA, for example, and you'll see how Flute was getting loaded. The yellow bar means that the uh, rack space is loading. So it's very quick, it's seamless, it works exactly as you would expect it to work. All the other features that Geek Performer offers, like Patch Persist, work with this feature. So I'll go back to, or I can do it with Forfisa. I'll enable Patch Persist with Forfisa, uh, it's already enabled. So if I play Forfisa now, I'll keeping the two notes down, I'll switch to uh, Jazz Organ and play Jazz Organ immediately. And you see, this just works as you would expect. Patch Persist works in the background while I'm holding the notes, while I can play Jazz Organ now. I let go, everything quiets down. You may wonder what's going to happen if you click or jump to one of the rack spaces that's red, that they're not fully loaded. Let's try that and you, I'll explain what's going on. I'll click on this uh, Japanese shakuhachi flute, which I love. Nothing is loaded there or around that rack space. I will click on it and as soon as it becomes green, you'll see that I can play it. So, um, it's, it was that quick. This is a contact player with samples, so it's not something, it's not a, a modeler or something like that. This loaded samples and now I can play it and all the other rack spaces around it are already fully loaded. So nothing bad happens if you click on the red one. It just may take a second or two, depending on the plugin, it may take a certain amount of time uh, until you basically figure out what's going on. I apologize for my phone ringing. Patch Persist just works with this. If I enable Patch Persist in this Shakuhachi, for example, and I jump to another completely different rack space that's red. I'll go back to Fafisa, let's say. You'll see that in a second. You'll see. I can play Fafisa now. Geek Performer is loading the other rack spaces. Note that Shakuhachi, because I'm holding the notes, is still loaded and can be played. And Patch Persist will just work as you would expect. So this feature is giving you a tremendous amount of freedom. It's going to really make your computer happy. You can have hundreds of rack spaces with heavy plugins that use a lot of memory uh, and CPU and still have Geek Performer and your computer perform optimally. As you can see, this feature works very well. Uh, it works intuitively. You don't really have to think about it. It just works and it's unique to Geek Performer. 
so uh, if you don't already have Gig Performer, you haven't tried it yet, go to our website gigperformer.com and download your copy. There's a free trial uh, so you can test it for yourself and see if it suits you.